Hi everyone. So welcome you all to our next video. Can you explain the airflow architecture? So I have also added the airflow architecture diagram that's very helpful in the explanation of uh, airflow design or you can say architecture. So based on uh, tools like a uh, web server, scheduler, worker, metadata, database. Okay. So uh, there are four uh, primary, you can say components, which is part of airflow architecture. So firstly, let, let's take the web server. Then it's a Apache airflow uh, UI that is like developed uh, by using a uh, flask. UI web server offers a uh, overview of complete health of the variety of tags, the different tags health it will show and uh, it also help you to visualize it will give you a visual representation of uh, all the components of tag and stage at the every level and uh, for setting the airflow web server will also let you manage different configuration like a user role and uh, their permissions configuration you can manage it then another part is scheduler uh, like for every nth second the scheduler navigates through the drags and uh, it will help you schedule the task uh, uh, that you need to be executed uh, and uh, tag have internal components so which is known as like executor. So as the name is only suggesting like executor will help to execute the task and uh, so it will schedule orchestration of all the tasks. Like executor will assign them to task and worker will execute it. Then we have metadata database. So as Apache Airflow supports various uh, like extensive range of metadata storage database. So like information related with tags it will store and it will help basically these information to run the Airflow configuration like connections, role, users. So database will be used by the web server to see case, showcase like uh, display all the details to the users about the run and uh, current state, uh, status of tags. Okay, so this was the whole architecture that we have discussed. Now let's move to the next question. That is, uh, what are the executors in Airflow? These are like uh, components uh, that uh, execute the task, okay? Part of Airflow architecture and uh, various type of executor we have in Airflow, like a sequential executor, which only execute a task at, uh, at a time and uh, worker and scheduler both uh, use a similar machine. Then we have a Kubernetes executor. This um, runs every time in the on Kubernetes pods on demand. It uh, spin up the worker pods and uh, it will enable the efficient use of resources. And uh, basically it work with the containers uh, like uh, in pods. Okay. Then local executor, like uh, it will be same as sequential, but uh, only difference is uh, like it can run several tasks at a time while sequential will run at one task at a time. Then we have salary executor, which is like uh, uh, Python framework that is used for running distributed uh, asynchronous task and uh, uh, it has been a page of Airflow for a long, long time now, but uh, it comes with a fixed number of workers that uh, are always at standby to take task whenever available. Okay. So you can see like uh, there are many uh, pros and cons of these executors. Like uh, if you talk about uh, sequential executor, then it uh, is not scalable. Uh, it is like good for very simple and straightforward setup only. And uh, it is not suitable for produ production because in production you need to execute more tasks at a time. While local executor is for like, uh, you can perform multiple tasks at a time, but it's not uh, suitable for production because uh, it can run in the tags when they are in the development stage only. And then salary executor, it's scalable. It's responsible for handling workers, okay? But uh, it needs a Rabbit MQ or uh, Redis to queue task complicated setup. So it's dependent on different services. Then Kubernetes executor, it's uh, having like a, a pros is like it offer advantages of local executor and salary executor together. It's simplicity and is scalable together. Okay. But uh, one thing is there like it's complex uh, documentation, complicated setup. You need to learn it uh, gradually and then you can work over it. So question is what are the operators in Airflow? So operators are like uh, building blocks of your Airflow DAGs and they contain the logic behind the data is getting processed in the pipeline. And each task in a DAG is defined by uh, initiating a uh, operator okay so there are many types of operators available in airflows uh, for example like a python uh, function execute general code provided by the user uh, while other operator perform some specific uh, task like transferring the data from one system to other system okay then operators in are like python classes basically that encapsulate logic uh, to do a unit of work they can be like viewed as a, a wrapper around each unit of work defines the action that can be completed and abstracted the majority of code you need to uh, like you would typically need to write so it will provide you abstraction of that class uh, some example of uh, airflow operators are like python operator which, uh, which can execute a python function base uh, bash operator which execute bash script uh, unix cell script you can say then we have kubernetes pod operator it will as name says it will uh, execute a defined task on a docker image in a Kubernetes pod. Then we have Snowflake operator uh, executes a query against a Snowflake database. So these are the operators available on uh, Airflow and uh, 
uh, like other are like HTTP operator, BigQuery operator, MySQL operator. So these will work with a specific theme as name search BigQuery will work with BigQuery. And so if you interview will ask you to define a workflow in Airflow, you can say like uh, the DAG basically stand here like uh, in the Python class um, lets you create a DAG which represents the workflow. And you can uh, like import a DAG, you can import some other utilities tool like date or time or something for utilizing that. You can inside that you can create the DAG basically. And in the DAG, you need to write the DAG ID, some arguments, some intervals for scheduling it. And uh, you need to pass the arguments like uh, what you basically want to do. You can create workflow inside it. So for example, I have just added it and uh, there are so many number of lines will be there but this is the simpler example that we have added here okay this way this way basically you can schedule the deck and you can use the beginning date of launch any task on a certain date the interview like uh, the schedule interview also specifies how often every workflow will be scheduled to run okay here is star star we have added so these star represents the task uh, which will run on each minute okay so you can change it for any like hour time or day basis okay please subscribe and comment below if you need more questions related with apache airflow or any other service uh, related question you want then you can comment down below and thanks for watching us see you in the next video